Right, now that we have completed the sky and also put a wash over the foreground, we're going to introduce some bushes, just painting with a paintbrush and making a sort of leaf shape uh, patterns on the paper. Um, you can, of course, draw this if you would prefer it, but it's quite fun to just use your watercolours. Um, as you use a much darker mixture of watercolour, of green, um, so you will be able to make it obvious that the this is the immediate foreground and that these things are quite close to you. Um, we will just mix a little more colour. Better. And now looking at the page of trees that you did the other day, um, perhaps you would like to select one or two that you like um, the shape of and we will now transfer them onto your paper. So presumably we'll start, well we'll start with the English elm I think. Now if we start out here and just do a rough outline with our brush That's right There's a rather tall and imposing tree Sadly a great many were lost to the elm disease a few years ago, but fortunately they're all recovering now. You can fill in the tree with brush, brush strokes, which will give you an uneven surface, but which is rather effective. When you have done your tree to your satisfaction, you can, if you want to, put some more bushes in the foreground or flowers or whatever you like, but using quite strong colours because then you make it obvious that the immediate bushes and trees are close to you and in the distance there are hills. There we are, that's a rough indication of how this would work. That'll give you an idea of how to look at a landscape and how to start off with it. Thank you. Um, I'm going to put, just for a bit of fun, a couple of birds flying in the distance. And we will just put a little bird there and another little bird there. So they're getting closer. <laughs> there we are. 